ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking, it's transfer deadline day. And uh, we're going to talk about all things Celtic as the deadline approaches. 12 o'clock midnight is the deadline tonight in Scotland, 11 o'clock in the Premier League. And we've got a deal that Celtic should, uh, they could be set um, to pull. Um, I know already done Ruben Gazan. You know, at this point, do you feel bad for him? No. Nah. We've got Starfelt, player. Haxabana, which looks a player already, I'm not putting a big pressure on him, but it, the minutes we got to see him when it, last night against Ross County, he looks a player and a half. And we could be raiding Kazan again, completing the sign of defence midfielder, which we do need with McCarthy set to leave, and McCarthy's not going to be a plan. Moy looked really good last night, tell you what, Moy looked good, uh, but we don't really have that big depth there in that position where that's the one position you say, where's the depth you don't really have? Yeah, we're in the part we do. Defence midfield is one. Uh, we're going to discuss that. We also discussed Mickey Johnson. He's set for his loan move in Portugal. Um, club, if I can get it up, I will get it up to you. Um, but, um, Victoria Gomares. Um, so that's a a one year loan deal. Also, former South defender Jack Hendry completes a deadline day transfer as he switches to the Serie A along with obviously a couple of other Scottish players. But yeah, and obviously, f um, we talked a lot about it after um, the intro. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk about, we'll talk about Mike Johnson a bit more later on in the video, but yeah, I want to talk about Oliveria Arvigard, if I pronounce it wrong, sorry, he's not um, Danish, um, he has understand that uh, Denmark cap is putting the finishing touches on a deal that will see him join the former teammates Carl Starfield and said, Hax advantage at Parkhead, he's 26, um, he's been trying for a, an ex all summer a mad with Russia's on ongoing invasion of Ukraine, after starting his career at Danish club A. A B Abigard Abigard um, sealed a lucrative switch to Ruben in twenty twenty four an impressive on loan. He made sixty two appearances for the club in the last two years, scoring once and supplying five assists. It's one of the directors uh, perhaps underlines the competitive um, combative role he can he's required to play in the middle of the park with eighteen bookings and two red cards. Oh he's fitted for Celtic, he's fitted for the the Derbies, you know, he's fitted for that now with two red cards, or eighteen bookings, oh he's fit in the Premier League. Uh, Hoops boss Portugal has been in the market for an armor midfield and forced all summer deal with Vinicius Junior fell through also um, the Brazilian opted to go to La Liga they also said that instead obviously with having losing um, Tom Rodgick and Nia Piton Celtic did recruit also Aaron Moyne a free transfer in the Australian and Arsenal has been featured regularly from the bench who looked, looked really good last night um, against Ross County uh, but ahead of a mouthful in Champions League campaign with Real Madrid, Derby, Leipzig and Saturday the next Portugal has decided to add another um, I don't know, I'm defensive minded Abigard to his ranks. Bearing in mind, will hit Jesus Abigard will be parried as a Celtic's ninth sign of the summer tonight. Uh, the Scottish champions could also add another new face before the window, uh, should the success of hold a number of fringe players. Obviously, Swiss swap Albion Yetis joined Strub Graz on loan, forgot to talk about that. Yes, he's joined on loan, thank God. He's gone, you know. Uh, on loan, well, uh, Mikey Johnson, we talked about Liam Sean Scott Robinson, are also expected to part. So it's also also open offers for four out of favour James McCarthy, who's set to leave the club. Um, Ruben Kazan, midfielder, uh, he's in Glasgow, over, Oliver, uh, and he's due to go on the medical ahead of his move to sell. It's understood that initial loan has been agreed, with Hoops um, hoping an insert an option to buy clause, um, which is in being um, insert. I, I tell you what, I haven't felt. Right, I'd probably get this, you know the transfer window, before this, that season happened, you know, the transfer window ended 2020, you know, we made, you know, I thought we made good set on the basis, like, on paper, it was good signings, at the time, okay, we no understand the players now, you know, you say the lot was the best of them, Fraser Foster we just couldn't get as well, Barkas, 5 million, a Yeti, 5 million, Duffy, it's a lot, a year loan from Brighton, I mean, you see a loan again from Southampton, um, and lacks out of some loan as well from AC Milan. Is it AC Milan? Yeah, it was AC Milan. Um, and now he's loaning somewhere else now. And, um, that window on paper before lacks out came in because lacks out came in dead late, and we all kind of you know you kind of knew it was oh, okay. I'm just I'm just checking guys to see if they've completed the sign yet, but we haven't. Uh, but yeah, um, that on paper that like, them them signing set from lacks out. We look like great signs. I haven't been, I haven't felt that good since then, you know? A positive, so much positivity. But all I got looks like he's going to be the ninth sign in the club. I pretty much expect Mighty Johnson to go first and then they get, the, they get this deal done, all of their deal done. It's a, it's a sign that I'm not surprised about because Andrew's kind of spoke about it and obviously, but not 
the name, but you know, he's gonna spot about they're still active, they're still in goings and out goings. Uh, I could see Liam Shaw going as well. We could we still get markets for our young kind of player Liam Shaw to go, Scott Robertson to go, Mikey Johnson. I think with this guy coming Oliver coming in defence midfielder. We talked about the part and we have defence we have um, options, you know, back um strength and depth. We don't really have depth there in that position, do we really? If you look at it on paper, yeah. McGregor is always going to most be playing out the season. McCarthy's not. Moy, it's, it's quite, it's McGregor and Moy, really, you know, it's, that's realistically what it is, McGregor and Moy, um, and Oliver looks like he is going to be, so he might have just sent to Portugal, finally he's moved to Victor Garamez, but yeah, um, yeah, that's that, but yeah, um, we don't really have, I see McCarthy going, that, that, that's as simple as that, if not, he's not going to game time, is he, if Oliver does join, not going to get game time, is he, you know, I don't feel it, and I don't think he should, I mean, he got, couple of minutes, 10, 15 minutes last night, he was absolutely hopeless, I know he isn't playing a while, but still, you know, slipped, until he caused a goal, you know, um, but yeah, um, I'd be glad to get these players, I'm so glad we got these Prince players out the door, you know, Julian, we had to go, Barkas is going, and Barkas went on loan, a Yeti went on loan, Mikey Johnson set going on loan, um, Ball and Goalie's away, thank God for that, holy moly, Ball and Goalie, um, Mikey Johnson's going and all that, and, you know, um, but yeah, um, and we've got one that, a couple, players out, players, uh, a player in, Oliver Allegard, Allegard, whatever the heck we call his name, sorry about that pronunciation, he's Danish, he's in Glasgow ahead of details over the Celtic transfer, ahead of the deal, the, the deadline tonight, it is going to be interesting if we good get the deal done, it'll be really good because this guy looks a player through, so I did tweet it earlier this morning, saying Celtic are now set to sign Danish midfielder, Oliver, um, Oliver uh, thingy, uh, Albegard, Albegard, I cannot pronounce the last name, sorry about that, um, deal in place, agreement has now been reached, now waiting on sending the contracts, which is really good to see, uh, and that, last night, let's see what Poz was said last night about the transfers, they they can expect some transfers ins and outs, I guess, we'll see what happens over the next 24 hours, potentially could be an opportunity to bring someone in, and it looks like it's going to be Oliver, um, with the, the player I'm just talking about, um, it looks set to be him, defence midfielder, ideally, which is good, because especially the Champions um, Champions League coming up next week as well, the Derby Saturday as well, I'm not saying he's going to start Saturday, but just strength and depth in that uh, position we don't really have, so I'm looking, looking, really looking forward to it, um, you know, um, but yeah, and also just news um, on James McCarthy, Celtic open to offers for him, uh, Sky Sports will do it. Stoke City will not be making an offer for the player today after various reports linked on with the move of the club, so that's not going to happen. But Celtic are open um, to let him go. Um, let's end now. Speaking of great transfer windows, that's what I mean. You know, David Turnbull saying is obviously, oh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? That's not even bright, but yeah, you know, that window, yeah. This window is 10 times better, you know. You know, that's the same feeling I've got before, before you know, on paper, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I, I, that's the only thing I imagine tonight. Mikey Johnson going out, um, Oliver Oliver coming in, um, a few outgoings, oh, a few outgoings as well. But I'm so glad we get rid of the players that got off them wages. Ayeti, Barkas, Ball and Goalie, Julian, and all that. So yeah, uh, I'm glad to see the players that we don't need. The fringe players are not going to play out the club. Some in loan, some in permanent. And Mikey Johnson said he got in loan, which could do the world a good film. I think he will. Uh, we'll discuss more of that. Uh, I think me and Ben have going to do a podcast tomorrow ahead of the big derby on Saturday, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that tomorrow, me and Ben will be recording, so any questions, hold over the Twitter, and um, we'll answer them tomorrow for you guys on the podcast, that's pretty much it, you know, the, uh, I don't see Celtic, I mean Celtic, might join some Portugal, Oliver's in Glasgow, put medical for finalising the deal, before the t midnight uh, deadline tonight, um, and that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it, um, Oliver is set to be this ninth sign this summer for Ange Postecoglou on his side ahead of the, the the derby on Saturday. But yeah, um, it's a twelve to um to have twelve get on Saturday. It's a midnight deadline tonight. I will keep you updated on social media. There we go. Due to Angle Medical ahead of loan move to Celtic, so it's just loan move on in Sky Sports. Loan move to Celtic, and then Celtic where Mike Johnson heading to Portugal to finalise loan move to Victoria. So there you go, that's the update for you guys. If you have enjoyed Deadline Day 2022, please add like button subscribe. And the summer window off completely. If you've enjoyed it all with the transfers and all that stuff like that, hit that like button subscribe. More to come 
the Celtic Face Rangers on Saturday. The podcast will be back tomorrow, episode 52 with Ben. Um, ben is back. Um, can he can he retain top spot? Can he further the points like Celtic can do on Saturday? Go a couple of points clear. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow night. So thanks for watching. Any questions, have a Twitter. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, the Celtic Mind.